Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's the midweek rush, and I'm here as always to take you through the rush. I remember humble self, Dindi Abdul Hafiz Arafa. The remarkable Muslim woman featured in BBC International 100 Women list. The list comprises of scientists, leaders from different parts of the continent, ranging from Asia down to the depth of Africa. The list consists of women from age 15 to 94. Oh my God, what do I know when I was 15? And guess what? Our former Minister for Environment, Amina Muhammad, was number 60 on the list. Wow, our Muslims, they are really wrapping us around the world. Keep that up. Talking about charity, a seven year old boy from Texas, Jack Swansea, donated all his savings, donated it to a masjid that was vandalized in Texas. The boy counted all his pennies and changed it to a $20 note to donate to the Muslim community for the destruction of their masjid. The Muslim community heard about his generosity and they felt so humiliated by that act and decided to surprise him with an amazing gift. Guess what the gift was? A brand new iPad. Now moving to a trending news on social media as regards a Christmas tree in a masjid. People are really confused as regards the Christmas tree in a masjid. How come? Christmas tree, okay. But we are here to clear the hair. Apparently, it isn't a masjid. It's a community center whereby the Muslim community of the vicinity, they rent the place for their Friday solar due to the multitude of crowd that observe the Friday solar. So they rent the space in order to contain the congregation. So in order to clear the misconception, it is not a masjid. It's an open space for everyone who wants to rent, either for religious purpose or for any other purposes. So guys, let's be aware of suspicion and let's avoid the MCs. The pop-up sale and the collection launch was amazing and colorful as different hijab styles and abayas were on display that day and it held at the house of iridium itself right here in lagos i really wish i had money that day i could do a lot of shopping but no shaking next year is another year assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is aisha olaywala and we are here in at the house of iridium doing what we know how to do best uh, this is a live pop-up shop for our lagos family you know, um, Ijab for Aisha is all about um, sorting um, the hijabs and um, other basic um, Muslim accessory needs for the ideal Muslim woman. Yeah, the website is ijabsforaisha.com, www.ijabsforaisha.com, and um, the Instagram handle Ijabs for Aisha, at Ijabs for Aisha, and also on Twitter, at Ijabs for Aisha. My name is Adia Shirukaya. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. We are here at the Mother Spurs new collection launch. I'm the creative director of Mother Spurs. At Mother Spurs, we make modest garments with timeless design using exquisite fabrics, minimal details for the occasional Muslim women. So you can get some of our outfits from House of Rhythm here, or you can order online through our Instagram page um, at modestspell.com. My name is Kara. Um, I'm here at the pop-up shop by Ijabs by Aisha, Modest Spell, and I actually came because of Ijabs by Aisha. I've used some of our scarves before, and they're really good. Still on the weekend, the Sibling 2.0 was amazing, as it held right here in Lagos, Ikeja, at Adeyemi Bero Hall, and our TV was there to capture off the event. Different vendors were available, as there were loads of products on display for people to buy. Master classes were held on tax matters, business psychology, and many more in order to help business owners to boom their businesses. <laughs> My name is Rikoya Olani Young. I'm the CEO of Exotic Veils and Fragrances. The Siblings Fair for me is such an emotional one. The last fair was the beginning of my veil business. I came to the fair and it was an all-rounder. Great nice out the way, mashallah. I'm Anima Shaman Khadijad. I'm the CEO of Cadby Creations. I'm into leather making. I make bags, different kind of bags, traveling bags, school bags, sandals. I make some bracelets. We also into bead making also. Mm, the sibling fair has really touched a lot of things in my life because I'm able to meet different kind of people that are into these products. My name is Hawa Umoru. I'm CEO of Torira Blends. 
So um, basically I'm an herbalist, but I don't do anything fetish, which means I'm not into any shriek. So what I do is I treat people with herbs, vegetables, fruits and all that. I also do aromatherapy. I do hijama, which is cooping. You know, the Chinese know it's a scooping. It's basically to remove the toxic blood from our system with small incision and then a small cup. Then our office is at Ikorodu, number 11 Oyebanji Street, Omitoro, off Ijedia Road, Ikorodu. But we do home service and we also do deliveries too. My name is Rikoya Ogunbi. I'm the founder of Sane Mind. Sane Mind is a mental health advocacy organization that provides mental health information and services. We're here at the Siblings Fair to provide psychological distress um, screening for, ad, um, for participants. Okay, so we're on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at SaneMindNG and our website is www.SaneMind.org and you can reach us at our office in Ekeja, is at Adebayo Sholanke, uh, beside First Bank at, off Allen Avenue, Ikeja. On our upcoming event, we have the Lekki Leadership and Entrepreneurship Summit coming up on the night of December at Lighthouse Estate, Lekki Peninsula. The event comprises of loads of speakers ready to teach us amazing stuff on the topic. Also, on our upcoming event, Inari Dinner and Award Night is coming up on the 9th of December 2018. To get amazing gist around the world, do not forget to follow us across all our social media platforms at OutTV Africa on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at RTV Africa. I remember our Musef Didi Abdullah Fisarafa. Check out. Dum, dum, dum.